Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Bite Beauty new foundation that came out. It is called the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. So I'm really so excited about this foundation. I've actually been shopping for a clean foundation for a few months. They're either too heavy and cakey or they're like water and they don't do enough. Um, most also don't have a very long wear time. So when this came out, I knew I had to try it. I bought Bites products for a such a long time, um, even way back when they had my favorite gloss ever, Rimbutan. I don't know if anyone remembers that. I hope they bring it back. I have no idea why they pulled it, but that was the most amazing gloss. So anyways, I have a history of loving their products and just what they're about and their entire concept. So I knew this was something I had to try. Um, so the claims on this is that it's for all skin types. It's going to give you a medium coverage um, and it's going to mimic the actual appearance of skin. So that's a micellar uh, feature in this um, to mimic the appearance of skin and avoid any caking or creasing in the foundation. When I went yesterday to color match, I had a spray tan. I do use the Kula tan um, if anyone wants to know. Uh, it's Kula Organic, so I can link that below. But anyways, I picked this one based on that and the fact that I do tend to get a little deeper in color um, going into spring because I do live in Florida. So I ended up going for M55, which may be a tad too dark right now, um, but I usually like my foundations a little darker anyway because my concealer is always light. So just be a squeezy tube so you squeeze the product out, which I actually like. Um, back in the day when I worked at MAC, I used their Studio Sculpt, which is in a similar type of package. Um, in this, you get one fluid ounce it retails at about $40. I think it's $39.50, um, which is pricier. But again, when you're going to be using clean products, you're going to be probably investing a bit more into them, um, which I'm okay with. If I love the product and I'm comfortable with it being on my skin, then that's great. So a lot of people don't realize whatever you put on your skin, your body absorbs up to 50% or more of what is put on your skin. So it is really important to know what you're putting on your skin and to be comfortable with that. I'm going to start with my Cover FX Primer. Um, I love this one because I stopped doing Botox and filler and everything. And this one has like a nice base that kind of smooths everything out. This one is their Blurring Primer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by applying this just all over. So I'm going to try the actual Bite Beauty, um, what is this called? Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. So normally I use a brush, just flat top kabuki to apply my foundations. I don't like something too heavy, um, usually more natural, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use the brush first and then go back in with the beauty blender to add coverage in any areas. Alright, so the color is pretty good. And I usually go a tad darker in my foundations um, because I do use lighter concealers. It's on super smooth. It's not like wrapping or you know building up anywhere. Apply to this half of my face first. Really surprised at how smooth it is. Um, a lot of cream foundations I've noticed will kind of grab onto any dry patches um, and they're a little bit more difficult to blend out. So this one really is just smoothing right on. Smells really good too. It's not. Um, like too perfumey where you're like whoa but um it smells really good i'm gonna go in with the beauty blender and just cover any areas where i usually fade which for me would be kind of this like cheek region normally i have tons of fading this foundation they say it's for any skin type um the micellar water component in here is supposed to mimic what the skin actually looks like to avoid any caking or buildup of the product. 
So this one is going to be under Clean Beauty for Sephora. Um, I'm going to try to run it through my app. I use the app Think Dirty to make sure things are actually clean. Um, it's kind of a good way to gauge how clean something is. So Sephora has their own standards, um, but of course there are other standards. So I will try to include that information. And I put extra foundation down, so I'm just going to go ahead and stipple it on. So today will be more coverage than I normally do. Um, but for the purpose of the video, I think it's fine. So, so far, I'm very, very dry skin. Um, so for me, I'd notice any like clinging or dry patches right away. So I don't see that. It looks like super um, luminous and dewy uh, right away, which is great. Usually when I buy any foundation that says luminous, hydrating, dewy, on me it goes matte um, because I am so dry. So that is a nice surprise. For concealer, I'm going to use the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in G Light 1. So this concealer I've used before, I do like it. It's a great formula. On me, I've noticed some slight creasing throughout the day, so I'm playing with how I set it to try to see if I can fix that. All right, so those are pretty much the areas where I'll put concealer. Um, again, I'm kind of going for like medium coverage today, so nothing crazy. So I'm just going to buff that in. Favorite concealer of mine is my Tarte Shape Tape. However, <laughs> that one is pretty thick. It's a lot, so for more of my like normal natural coverage, I do prefer the Cover FX. Um, it's a little more liquidy and thinner and you can build it up, um, but it's not as intense as the Shape Tape, but I love both. So now I'm going to set the face with the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder, which is one of my favorites. Um, I'm not a fan of powder because I am so dry, so for me, I love anything that is going to be more natural in appearance. So I'm trying to switch over to all clean products, um, but I definitely don't use any products that are tested on the animals. Um, and now I'm kind of trying to use up what I have and transition. So if anyone has a powder recommendation, um, that would be Clean Beauty. Let me know. Thing is not a clean product, but they don't test on animals. So Fenty Beauty in Private Island. I like this bronzer. Um, I wouldn't say I love it. I think bronzers for me are hard because I don't like when they're shimmery, but I don't like when they're matte. So they just need to have like a glow. And my old favorites back in the day when I worked at Mac was um, the mineralized skin finishes. They are so beautiful on the skin, um, but I do not shop at MAC anymore. Um, so I'm kind of still searching for a bronzer. It's only because the animal testing situation and um, some of their products actually aren't bad as far as being clean or not. And that's why, again, I love that app, um, Think Dirty. But then some of their products they're really bad as far as what's in them. Um, some of the lipsticks specifically in the eyeshadows are pretty bad. Um, but for me, it's also that animal testing um, situation because I just think in today's world, it's not necessary. And if it means you stop selling in mainland China, then you stop selling there. Those are applying really nice on top of this foundation. I don't know if you can see, but they're not really grabbing. Um, it's actually pretty easy to blend. So I'm happy with that. 
So that is with all the powders on top. Now I'm going to go in with the M Cosmetics Liquid Blush. Um, I do love this one. This is in the shade Rose Milk. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my cheeks. Oh, this packaging is so cute. I actually hate like the dropper design. My dropper came broken. So it's kind of a process to get this out of here. I don't know if you can see in camera how dewy it is. It's so pretty. Um, and I always apply a little more blush at first because it is the first thing to fade, especially like any cream blushes. Um, but as you can tell, I love a dewy look. I really should just like dump it out in my face. Part of me wonders if M Cosmetics came out with like a foundation with this formula, how that would be. I feel like it'd be insane. Alright, I don't know. Let's try to blend that. So you can use your fingers to blend this out too. Um, I just want to see like how it lays on top of the foundation. So pretty. I think I have more on this side, but it's fine. Okay, and then my last step for complexion is going to be highlighter. So I have switched over to another brand um, that is clean that I love and I'm really excited to buy more from, which is RMS Beauty. This is the Living Luminizer. So they have other colors in this one. Um, this one gives you like this dewy, ethereal, like you're just so healthy type of glow. Um, it's not so much shimmer or like an actual color. Um, so as you can see, it looks like a pearlescent type of opal white color, but I can etch. You'll see, hopefully the camera will pick it up when you apply it. It's just like this healthy, dewy glow, um, which I like. I used to back in the day wear tons of highlighter, like intense color. Um, I still like doing a full face from time to time, but I feel like now just getting older and, you know, going through things in life and I'm much more worried about like what's going on my skin and just looking more healthy overall. Um, so it's just a different aesthetic, but the clean beauty products out there are actually really, really good. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised by that. So just kind of dab this on. Um, I wish there was a better way to apply this. I've only tried it this way. I suppose I could try with, you know, a brush or something. Um, but, yeah. So, I hope it's picking it up. So, that is the complexion part of everything. Um, I love how it looks overall. It looks so hydrated, plump, dewy, not cakey, not patchy. It was so easy to blend, it was like butter. It wasn't like my brush was dragging or it was difficult. Um, or some products I've used in the past will kind of gravitate in certain areas on the face and then getting other areas to match or look concise is difficult. So this blended out so beautifully. Um, I'm gonna go throw on eyes and lips and then we'll just wrap everything up. Just finished the rest of my makeup. Um, for lips today, I did also use Bye Bye Beauty, their liquefied lipstick in caramelized. So, my overall thoughts I love this foundation. I feel like it's my new foundation. It's been on now for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, I was able to do the rest of my makeup without it transferring off onto my hands. Um, or anywhere else during the rest of my application. Um, I'm really impressed. I think it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. It looks like my skin, but perfect and airbrushed. So I think this is going to be one of my favorite foundations. I am going to check back in after wearing it all day and see kind of how it held up. So I will let you guys know. Um, overall though, I'm so impressed and I absolutely love it. This is the foundation up close. I've had it on for 
probably about an hour and a half. Um, I'm going to wear it today and see kind of how it holds up. Um, but so far, so good. So I will be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. It is now 4.37. Um, so I've had the foundation on since 10, so about six and a half hours. Um, it held up really well. So we went outside, we went on a walk. We live right by the water. Um, so there's, you know, salt in the air. It was 83 degrees today, really humid. Um, I was in the sun, so it definitely... I put it through the elements to test it out and it held up really well so I'm really impressed overall. It's smooth, it didn't get patchy anywhere, it didn't wear off anywhere. Um, so for me this product is amazing. I would definitely repurchase. Um, I would highly recommend it. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments let me know below and I will see you guys next time.